In the previous video, we learned how to extract IP addresses and leverage the virus total connector to gather intelligence. This demonstration will showcase how to implement decision making logic using an if condition. We will then update records with a suspicious flag based on the malicious score obtained from virus total. I am currently within the FortiSource system within the playbook section. This playbook was constructed in our previous video. Now we will merge a decision point to determine actions based on the malicious score. First, we'll start with the step name, the condition 1, utilize the advanced condition option, select malicious field from the last analysis stats within the virus total connected data. Employ a Jinja expression to dynamically access this value. Set the condition to greater than 12. Define the branch tool tip as malicious. Condition 2. Utilize the advanced condition option and employ a Jinja expression. Set the condition to greater than 1 and less than or equal to 12. This demonstrates the key advantage of Fortisource Intuity interface the ability to leverage dynamic values directly as input fields without the need for manual coding or memorization of complex expressions. This significantly streamlines playbook design and enhances efficiency. We will now update the records flagged as malicious. This involves adding an update record step, naming it appropriately and selecting the appropriate model indicator. Within this step, we will map the ID field from the indicator record and set the reputation to malicious. Finally, we will return to the decision point, choose the update record malicious step to execute and save the changes. We will follow the same process to update records flagged as suspicious. This includes creating another update record step, configuring it similarly to the malicious step and setting the appropriate fields. Then we will update the decision point to execute the update suspicious step. Finally, we will add a branch tool tip labeled as suspicious and save the playbook. To test this playbook, we will ingest a FortiSim alert via the alerts page. We should see the IP address flagged as suspicious within the indicators. To confirm the execution order, we will check the playbook execution log. First, we will examine the virus total results. The latest analysis shows a malicious verdict from 11 vendors. Next, we will verify the decision based condition by checking the input fields. We will confirm that the first condition malicious score greater than 12 and the second condition malicious score greater than 1 and less than or equal to 12 are evaluated correctly. Building playbooks in FortiSore is this easy even without coding. You can customize your SOC automation to perfectly to fit your needs. Thanks for watching.